Hey guys, it's me, Spencer, otherwise known as the Awakening Spartan here, playing some Nether. This game is a game that is a, it's a very cool first-person shooter. Um, it's an open-world concept, concept, I believe, and I got this through uh, Marquee Dragon Network. Now, the reason I got this is because Freedom slash Flix have been into a partnership with Marquee Dragon, and they decided to give us the ability to be able to play Nether. Now this game is awesome. I was just roaming around a second ago, and uh, it's it's a really cool place. Um, they worked really hard on this. I'm I'm guessing. I mean, they had to have. It's a really cool game, and let's get started. It's it's out of just, it's mind blowing. Um, it's really cool. I hope you guys like it. I will have a link to uh, be able to purchase this game down below. Um, so yeah, my thoughts on this game, since this is a review, my thoughts on this game is just, this game's mind-blowing. Um, it, they put a lot of detail into it, as you guys can see, the, the detail in this game is just, it's, they definitely spent time on this. Let's just say it's not a rush game. They spent a lot of time on it, and, uh, I'm glad to be working with it. So... Yeah, let's uh, get my character set up, because you guys can see that there's a lot of stuff you can possibly do. Um, so let's just pick a random shirt. No, that's a random head. I didn't want a random head. I wanted a random shirt. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. And some jeans. Yes. All right. So yeah, the just the wardrobe itself, you can tell they put a lot of detail into your clothes. That looks bloodstained, and normally you would just see a red shirt. But that looks like he actually went through a lot of trouble. Um, they put a lot of detail into this game. You can see that the background isn't just a, a image. It's a GIF or it's a video kind of overlaying. So yeah, they can, you can tell they spent time on this. And that's one thing I found really cool is how much time they spent into putting this game together. Whoa. You see, I haven't been in, in this server. And, uh, whoa. Yeah. You can see the detail they put into this. As it is all loading. It will take a second, but I mean, it's well worth the wait. Oh. And it, it is a very uh, scary game. The darkness just like overcomes you and ooh. It, it, can, it can scare you at moments just hearing certain sounds. So where am I? You don't get a map, I believe. I can't remember all the controls, though. But I know to walk, side side is A and D, backwards is S, forward is W, A, or spump, jumping is space. Ooh, what's this? I'm holding E. Old eat examine. Remember this place? It was a little cafe in Delhi. I think I ate here once. Ah, so yeah, I I get this. Yeah, this looks. Oh wow, that glowing. Search. What's in it? Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, so this game is, it's just, oh, I can't even put it into words. You can definitely tell that they put detail in it. That it's very, it's very optimized for Windows 8, po probably even more optimized for Windows 7 and some, maybe even Vista or XP. It doesn't have barely any lag, um, easy to record. It's... It's not framey at all. I can already tell you that the graphics are just amazing. Yeah, so. Wow. Yeah. I think the rest of this is just going to be me just like going. Oh going crazy over this game. Oh wow, what is that in the far back? Is that like a 
I can't even tell what that is. Looks like a factory or something. Weapon. My weapon is a butter knife. Which... Butter knife killing. Um, I think this is multiplayer. I can't be too sure, but I think this is multiplayer, so who knows, maybe I'll find someone around. Just walking around, I can murder. <laughs> um, but yes, thank you, Marky Dragon, for the opportunity to play such an amazing game. I wouldn't have done this without you guys. Um, this is a great game. And, ooh, is that an objective up there? I see smoke. I'm walking towards it. I'm so walking towards it. And if you guys would like to see some more of this wonderful game, Nether, please do leave a rating in the comment below saying yes or no. Um, this would be an amazing game to play on the channel. Spooky, fun, engaging. <laughs> uh, can I get through these at all? No. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, okay, so is that the objective? Is that an objective? Uh, what is that? Safe zone. Welcome to the safe zone. Use a message board to see. Oh, see, that's what this is. Wow. You can tell that this is a very open world game. It's very interesting. Exiting safe zone. Oh, it's a body. Skeleton. Assuming that you can't drive. But if there were a vehicle that you could drive, this looks like it would be it. Nope. Oh, there's like a clan. They've lost territory. Whoa. Is that a person? N no. Oh, wow. I'm gonna head over there. Is that an ambulance? Yes, it's an ambulance. Um, oh, wow, there's something happened here. Ooh, glowing. See something glowing. Ah, flare. Awesome, I got eight flares.
what's up here? looks cool fast you move I do notice that it does get a tiny tiny bit framey but um not bad ah uh, so this is kinda like a uh, office was, oh no. Okay, good. There's no baby in there. I would have cried. <laughs> Sons of Apocalypse. I hope I don't get in their way. I see that you can go through things like off like just textures you can go through textures um, sound effects in this game are really really creative and good definitely not your cookie cutter sound effects I like the flares all over the place that gives it kind of like a a neat little look So what is this place? Alright, that looks like it's a train system some... What? I'm gonna climb up there. I just used that today, so that I just forgot to take care of it. Starting to wonder how he ended up there like that. It, it. That's cool. The RTA or whatever they call it. Whoa. Do not enter. Looks like uh, someone intentionally murdered these people. Oh jeez, don't want to fall into that. Oh wow. So it looks as if I may need to end this review sometime soon because it's gonna get too long if I just continue to play but uh all around I give this game about an 8 out of 9 because it is a really interesting game it has really good graphics really good playthrough really good frames it doesn't drop it's really optimized 
Um, I do see some texture like problems, and it does get framey as you move a little bit fast. So those are two minor problems that stopped me from giving it a full 10 out of 10. But other than that, honestly, this game is a bet one of the best games I have on my PC. Um, not saying that I have a lot on my PC, but I do. Um, one of the best games I've played. Whoa, what is that? Hold on, guys. Yeah, I don't think I want to move over there. But yeah, so this, I give this game an 8 out of 10. Really good game. Um, I will have the link for the, the referral link down in the description so you guys can check it out. Um, I will also have my previous video and other stuff at the end of this video. I hope you guys go to check this game out because it is very fun. It's very interesting and it'll probably make some great YouTube videos. And that's going to come attack me. So uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time. Click on the annotation below previous to watch my previous episode of Happy Wheels, which happened to be Happy Wheels episode 2, where I also play some Angry Birds inside Happy Wheels. To watch my random video, which just so happens to be my Call of Duty Ghost Dev, Dev Grew class, click on the annotation below, random. To subscribe to my YouTube channel to see many more of my videos, as well as subscribe and like some stuff and share, click on the annotation up below, subscribe. To go to my Twitch and Twitter, the, the links will be below in the description.